Hello, today we're going to talk about a new service that Microsoft Azure has released that's currently in preview called Azure Bastion. What Azure Bastion gives you is the ability to privately and fully manage your RDP and SSH access to your Azure virtual machines. So you no longer have to have a virtual machine that's running in Azure with a public IP address that has RDP or SSH accessible to the internet, which is a kind of a big security risk that you're taking by doing that. Or on the flip side, previously you would have to have a virtual machine that has a lot of backend networking and infrastructure in place to connect to. If we take a look at this virtual machine that I have here, you'll see that I have a public IP address and a private IP address. Before Bastion, if you wanted to access this machine over RDP or SSH for troubleshooting setup or any other kind of reason, you would have to have that public access on the IP address for that's connected to the internet, or you'd have to have like an express route or a site to site VPN connection set up and then have that private addressing extension of your enterprise network to be able to RDP or SSH into those boxes. Some people didn't have that and they would, your option would then have a, your option would be to have a jump box that has public access on RDP or SSH, use that then to access your other virtual machines. Not as big of a security risk, you have that one star hardened point, but still a little bit of risk to begin with. This was good and great for people who had that on-prem infrastructure, but Cause a lot of a lot of issues if you didn't have that kind of that back end networking to a, a traditional data center. In this case, this virtual machine is sitting in Azure. I do not have a site to site or express route set up. So currently for me to go ahead and access this, I would have to actually either use a jump box and then go from that jump box to this machine or have RDP access to the internet enabled on here. With Bastion, this is essentially gonna be jump box as a service. Uh, you deploy this to your network, you connect to the Bastion service, and then the Bastion service allows you to actually access that, uh, that virtual machine over RDP or SSH on the back end. Right now, it's only available in a few regions. Uh, right now, it's West US, East US, West Europe, South Central US, Australia East, and Japan East. The problem with the preview right now is that you can't just deploy this in a, one of those regions and then access resources in another region. So if you do want to test those out and try it, uh, you have to actually have that, those resources in that same reason. Once this goes GA, I expect this will probably be, you know, pushed out to more and more regions, just like all the rest of the Azure services. So we're going to go ahead and deploy a Bastion host real quick. You can go ahead and just search for this. Real quick, though, uh, you'll see that my Azure portal is orange. The reason is right now to access Bastion, you do need to be using the Azure preview portal. You can go ahead and access this through aka.ms slash Bastion host, and that'll redirect you to the preview portal. Once again, once you're in GA, this won't be a concern. Preview portal is very similar to the regular portal, just there will be a few more additional features turned on, um, this being one of them. We'll go ahead and create this host. If you do not already have a networking in place, you do need to actually create a, a subnet in that VNet that's called Azure Bastion subnet with at least a slash 27. You can have the wizard do it, or in my case, I just created it earlier, but it does have to be called Azure Bastion Subnet. Uh, that is a requirement. So we're going to go ahead and just create a new IP address to this, and then we're going to create this box. Um, this takes about, generally, three to five minutes to deploy, so we'll go ahead and see you on the other side. All right, so our deployment is completed. If you come check out the actual resource that is created, in the Azure portal, there isn't a lot in here. Uh, this is essentially just high level overview of what resource group it in and where it's at, what the subscription is, that's it. Where you actually start getting to be able to leverage this in the virtual machines. So if we pull up that virtual machine that we were accessing earlier, we go to the connect option. You'll now see that we have a bastion option in addition to the RDP SSH. Go ahead and authenticate to it and hit connect. Now Azure Bastion is going to go ahead and connect to that virtual machine over that private IP address. Uh, you can do this anywhere in the world. You don't have to have a jump box. You don't have to have dedicated backend ne networking infrastructure with an express route or site to site VPN. Uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility on connecting to these resources and more conveniently, but also more securely than what you might previously have been doing. So I hope you enjoyed that little look into leveraging Azure Bastion for RDP and SSH access into your Azure virtual machines. Thank you.